In the magical world of the movies, you have the good guys and the bad guys. The bad guys seem to be having the better deal initially, but by the time the 17th reel unrolls, they get their due. The good guys prevail, and the bad guys get arrested, killed, reformed, or all three together. Ah, the magic of the movies. Sadly, when it comes to films themselves, or even the music industry for that matter, it's the bad guys, the pirates, who are prevailing. It's really, really rampant. You can say, ki if I'm releasing my movie on Friday, you can get a pirated CD or DVD on Thursday, one day before than that, because I'm delivering my prints for All India Theatrical Release uh, seven days before my movie release in India. So that's a huge problem on we are facing. Our viewers of Indian movies in domestic market and with the Indian diaspora all over the world have gone threefold more. The clientage and the customer have grown. The listeners of music, Indian music, have grown fourfold, 400 percent. But you will be surprised to know that the revenue has gone down to 60 percent. Well, I suppose India is the only country in the world where uh, you can see a pirated material on your cable channel. It doesn't happen in Pakistan. It doesn't happen say even in Tunisia or even if you say the worst of the possible countries, it doesn't happen. If you want to see 100 people in the picture, then 90 people in the picture. So 10% of people are going to actual theatres today. The music industry is almost crashed. It is very, very low possible. Every technical advancement is only for the pirates, not for the producer. I can't tell you the uh, effect also because it's, it's so huge and so bad that it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, I had my DVDs out of unofficial DVDs out of uh, Rakh from, from day one. I remember in Gujarat when I went in the very first week after my Raz was released and uh, it was there in a five-star hotel in the Taj. I was in Taj. I saw it on the cable and with uh, ads of the local um, Banya and underwear sellers on it, uh, stamped on it. So I called up my distributor, my exhibitor, and said, please do something, let me get, get me in touch with the local police and let me do something. He said, Mr. Bhatt, you're there for one night. Have a good night's sleep, go back. Nothing is going to happen. It is obvious that piracy has become all prevalent today. But was it always this way? Let's get a historical perspective of the genesis of this problem. Well, with video came the first tremors of doom and um, pirated videos changed the rule and uh, till uh, the industry woke up having um, fought uh, a losing battle woke up and said that let us strike a deal with the pirates and face the inevitable uh, that gone are the days where movies would only be screened in the so the shrines called the cinema hall and the money would only come from the box office window and now technology has changed the ground rule and uh, people will watch movies in the comforts of the home and there were radio parlors who were still making a lot of money but uh, that was a sane decision and uh, video market became a kind of an added territory for be producers. But ever since man stepped into what is called the digital wonderland, all hell has broken loose. Well, the historical perspective really is the uh, introduction of the cassette, the music cassette when it came in. And with that, uh, it became very easy to copy. You know, the files we talk about today on the internet and on the downloading, it was happened when the cassettes itself came in, when uh, if people were, if people remember, we used to record ourselves and exchange cassettes. It's like exchanging files today, what happens on, on uh, the net. So it was the easy method of duplication which really started piracy. When the records were there, you required a whole factory to manufacture and duplicate records. 
but the cassette you could do it in your own home. That's where piracy began. That's the historical background. The historical background was further hit recently by what is called the MP3 activity. You know, today on a CD, you can put as many as 100 songs in one MP3 uh, CD-ROM on a single ROM, and that's being sold at 40 rupees. So 100 songs available at 40 rupees, whereas those 100 songs, even if it's available on a legitimate CD of 10 CDs, will cost you 1,000 rupees. So 1,000 rupees worth of product, today you're getting at 40 rupees. So today, the CDR and the MP3 format is really playing the role of what cassette played in the 80s. <laughs> The humble audio and video cassettes unleashed a genie that today is demolishing the bottom lines of the entertainment industry. What is the economic impact of piracy? Let's find out. There have been no empirical studies made. It is only the salesmen of the different music companies who go to the field and they see some pirated goods uh, in the shops or they, and then they make a rough calculation. The government had made a study some time ago, about five or six years ago, and they thought it was 24%. How did they arrive at that figure? I asked the, the person in charge, but it was difficult for him to, to explain. I think now it must be same levels. Maybe in music you can say it's more than original products. Uh, I think maybe 70, 75% should be piracy. I definitely believe that if piracy is not there, no picture in the world can be lost today. The potential is so much, the evidence is so many. See, currently the, the legitimate music market is estimated to be between 600 and 700 crores. It depends on when the big hits are. Um, the pirated component is another 600, 700 crores. So on an average, the industry loses between 600 and 700 crores as we speak today. Unless something drastic is done now, it's the good guys, the actors, singers, musicians, directors, storytellers, lyricists, who light up our lives with their talent and creativity, who will fade to black. Uh, as it is, the producers, uh, they are making a lot of money. So we, if we are th thinking about our pocket, then I don't think there is anything wrong. A common man, when he buys a cassette, up now, a purchase of illegal VCD or a tape, or a CD, he says, what does, what difference does it make to Mahesh Bhatt or to Shah Rukh Khan? They're already rich people. So how can they be on the brink of extinction? So the, the Hollywood being Hollywood changed the strategy. They put the face of the stuntman, uh, the, the gaffer, and say, you're taking the bread away from his table. You're robbing the morsel from his mouth. So do you want to do that? The person who's selling is a thief. The only thing, he's undeclared thief. He's a socially accepted thief. We, music industry has lost 1,800 crores uh, in the last two, three years. And I think uh, more than 70% uh, of our employees, we have to sack them. The music industry is not just about music companies or about artists. There's a whole series of people who actually live on music and make a living off that. It starts from your average little small town village kind of, you know, flute player to an established film composer. The whole range of people make a living of, of music. So the commun obviously the one community is the artist community. The, mu uh, the second community is really people who, who write lyrics, the poets, the recording engineers, the sound engineers, and a whole host of people who are connected with generating music. The second set of people are actually music companies who actually buy music who manufacture cassettes and CDs, and there's a whole manufacturing operation, the, the music industry as it were. The third set of people is actually the trade and the, and the business community, the people who actually sell music. There are over 10,000 shops in India who make a living selling music, and there are shop boys and, and other, other people making a living off that. And lastly is the media. There's a whole number of people in the radio business, in the music television business, and in the film industry itself, for whom they're recording artists or, or performing artists for whom music makes a living. So if you add it up, there's a huge number of people uh, from a human point of view who make a living and are attached and associated with music. No, it's not that the production company is closed every day. 
और मुझे लगता आने वाले दो साल में अगर इस तरह से पायलट हुई हर कंपनी बंद हो जाएगी अभी अगर नहीं चाहते हो कि हम लोग घर बैठ के देखें तो क्या नई नई स्कीमें निकालो मूवी का टिकट सस्ता करो उसके साथ कुछ पॉपकॉर्न वगैरह कुछ फ्री आइटम वगैरह कुछ करो ना तभी तो अब हम लोग आएंगे टुडे देर आर मोर देन हाफ अ मिलियन पीपल दैट आर बीन एम्प्लॉयड बाय द म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री हियर इन इंडिया या एंड अबाउट नियरली टू मिलियन हु आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन दैट दिस कुड हैव बीन नियरली ट्वाइस और थ्राइस दैट साइज इफ देर वॉज नो पायरसी बिकॉज द म्यूजिक कंपनीज वुड हैव बीन देन बी एबल टू डिप्लॉय the generation of resources back into the business people think that you know when they are buying a cassette or a cd they are buying plastic which is not the case when you are buying music or when you are buying intellectual property you are not buying just the plastic you are buying the human effort behind it you are buying creativity so the producers have no money no films are being made today uh, the workers so sooner or later if this continues the workers are going to have no work at all aur bahut se channels hai उसमें अच्छा अच्छा तो पिक्चर आ जाते देखने को मिलता है और क्या हो जाता है अपने अपने जैसे लोग का टाइम पास हो जाता है बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फिल्म पायरेसी द इंडिकल वी सी डीज एंड डी वी कमिंग इन शोइंग इट इन केबल एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स द रेवेन्यू इज ऑल्सो नॉट देयर इन द थिएटर्स सो नॉट ओनली द लाइफ ऑफ अ टेक्नीशियन अ फिल्म मेकर एनी वन गेट एफेक्टेड बट ऑल्सो द क्वालिटी ऑफ द फिल्म बिकॉज द मूमेंट रिटर्न इज नॉट देयर नो प्रोड्यूसर कमिंग आउट to spend on the film everyone is so scared the buyers are very scared the distributors are scared the makers are scared so everyone wants to play safe given the economic and human cost of the problem how equipped are the indian legal judicial and enforcement systems to tackle this cancer the government ko judiciary mein change lana chahiye act mein change lana chahiye easy kar dena chahiye ki bhai ek aadmi jis ja jo koi bhi police station mein ja immediate uska fir registered ho laws are in place But the implementation is not there. The policing is not there. The law is, at the moment, to a certain extent, adequate. Yeah, uh, enforcement takes time and it's difficult. Uh, the the logical end of getting a legal conviction takes even longer. The judicial system, the police, the machinery, is so overburdened with other criminal cases and other violations of physical property. that the judicial system the police and the other government machinery hasn't understood what is actually violation of copyright law is in place but the process in fact is so slow that uh, we just have cases which keep on piling up i think a key problem here is the legal addressable system within the country okay because i think that requires key changes in the law a movie which is being shown on television or in a video parlor if i don't take immediate action it doesn't help me you know like if you take action 5 years after that so you know like who are you trying to benefit on the contrary it becomes problem for me i am a witness in some cases you know i keep on getting summons 5 years after that the basic foundation is weak because nobody is interested in nobody sees this as a menace at all the government is totally sleeping they they are in deep slumber they don't find piracy as in the agenda it doesn't exist so that is the tragedy what can you do you are just talking screaming against the wall i think government of maharashtra i mean has a, a proper set up laws to uh, control the piracy but the point always which we always find is how to enforce that law because the new technology is coming so fast whatever law we make technology is one step ahead of that law you see all the laws in this country are good people feel that the laws are bad it's not the laws that are bad if you go and see the say the indian penal code it is coming down from macaulay's time much before uh, 100 years before the british left but here uh, the enforcement is is what causes concern we are a soft state I mean we do not enforce the laws we make laws to be broken <laughs> With the alarm bells ringing, the Indian music industry has closed ranks to collectively battle the pirates. They are doing so through three agencies: the Indian Music Industry (IMI), Phonographic Performance Limited (PPL), and Indian Performing Rights Society (IPRS). IMI is the second oldest music association in the world. It was started in 1936. Its head office is in Calcutta, and it's 
core role is to promote and develop Indian music. Uh, have fair play in business and look after the interest of taking Indian music across the world. Uh, piracy or defending the rights of the music companies or the artists is one of the other roles that I am I look into. They set up the music, uh, uh, enforcement wing headed by me and we do the investigation and then we go to our uh, old colleagues and tell them, look, we have made all investigation, but you have to come. We do not have the powers. You have the powers. You come, make the panchnama, arrest those people, charge sheet them, do that at least. So then you don't have to do the, the dirty work of finding out where it is happening, who is doing it, how it is being done, that we have done. So this is uh, how it should be, we, are, we are functioning. And we represent the, the sound recording owners or the music industry as, as is commonly known. And we license in fact variety of license in fact to the different kind of users for the non-physical as I said. Be it be a radio station, be it a television station, be it uh, a ringtone company or be it a telecom company using music for streaming or uh, be it in fact uh, usage of music in fact in the public arena, arena which is in the cafes or in the discotheques or in the hotels. So we look after multi multiple aspects of the licensing and on behalf of the entire music industry. IPRS came into being in 1969 with the help of authors and composers and in late 90s the publishers who were also in India the music companies joined in and from that the IPRS has started as a great movement and people have started recognizing that they need to pay even IPRS for the literary and musical works. Surprisingly, though the film industry is even more severely affected than the music industry, they have not launched a similar initiative. So the film industry is also in a very bad way. And the film industry has never organized itself to fight piracy. They expect the government to do it. Whereas their own individuals keep uh, quarreling among themselves. That is their problem. And I think even the government has told them, why don't you do something like IMI does? They agree. But finally, they, uh, they cannot come to terms. Ashushin is very good for us here. AMTTB, IMPA, Guild. But the problem is that there is no one. Plus, who is the one who is the one who is the individual in this industry? They have made a film, and they are very hard to stop the piracy. If they are stopped, it's okay. Because there is no financial gain in the last two or three years. There is no gain in the last two or three years. Because there is no success. Because there is no interest. I honestly feel this is actually uh, uh, the mistake on the part of the industry itself, you know, like they, they, we or we ourselves, we never united on this point of piracy. I feel that, I mean, this for the last more than 50, 52 years, this word that producers can unite is not possible. On any topic, on any friend, they say let's unite, they come, they have enthusiasm, they get united, they do meetings. But the moment we leave that meeting room, the same forever, same things are over. See. Association or no association, both the film and music industries agree that they are waging a do or die battle against the pirates and the pirates seem to be winning. But who are these pirates? We met one, a few hundred feet away from Mumbai High Court. English movies, games, नहीं कुछ ओरिजिनल्स भी रहते हैं मूवीज तो उन ओरिजिनल जो नया रिलीज आती है ना वो ओरिजिनल रहता है तीन चार हफ्ते के बाद जो आता है ना वो ओरिजिनल रहता है जो उसके पहले आ जाता है आप बता सकते कौन सा पहले इसमें बता तो नहीं सकते आपको क्योंकि ये सब देखो ये सब दीज ऑल ओरिजिनल्स पारिटेड आता जैसे कि इस तरह के रहते हैं ना क्वालिटी ये पारिटेड आएगा ये 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 कलर का पारिटेड है तो जो उसका पेजिंग रहता है वो रहता है बाकी ये सब ओरिजिनल रहते हैं मतलब कलर पेड है पेड क्वालिटी में फर्क रहता है पिक्चर क्वालिटी में भी फर्क रहेगा ओरिजिनल सीडी और पारिटेड सीडी में पिक्चर क्वालिटी में फर्क रहेगा वो माल ऑलरेडी कोई और करता है ला के देता है हम लोग होती तो है प्रॉब्लम तो होता है ये बिजनेस ऐसा है कि इसमें पुलिस का प्रॉब्लम तो होता है 
वेल कुछ ना कुछ देना पड़ता है ये प्रोफेशन ऐसा है कि इसमें कुछ ना कुछ किस सपना सबको कुछ ना कुछ देना पड़ेगा नहीं इसमें कोई बुराई नहीं है देखो अभी सॉफ्टवेयर कितने महंगे आते हैं एक अगर आदमी सॉफ्टवेयर लेने जाएगा विंडो एक्स लेने जाएगा तो तीन हज़ार रुपये का है हम उधर हम यहाँ पर सौ रुपये में बेचते हैं उसको तो एक तरह से बेटर है एक तरह से हम बाहर की चीज़ें बेच रहे हैं यहाँ पर यहाँ की यहाँ से पैसे लोग बाहर लेके जाते हैं कमा के बड़ी बड़ी कंपनीज बाहर की तो उनका प्रोडक्ट हम लोग बेचते हैं We also managed to cajole a pirate to give us an in-depth perspective of their operations. He spoke to us on condition of anonymity. देखे हमें जो हमारा original CD है, वो Dubai से आ जाता है। वो हमारे पास Wednesday night को ही आ जाता है। Thursday को हमारे 25 centers हैं हमारे whole over India में। हम लोग 25 copies करके उधर भेज देते हैं, और फिर वो लोग वहाँ पे CDs बना के market में बेचना शुरू कर देते तो बाय फ्राइडे सारे मार्केट्स में हमारे सीडीज जाते हैं जैसे ही रिलीज होते हैं थिएटर में आने के पहले हमारे सीडीज वहाँ पे पहुँच जाते हैं आपने मेरा चेहरा छुपाया हुआ है ना कैमरा में हाँ छुपा देखिए हालांकि हमारे धंधे में हमारे नौ से बारह तक हमारे सीडी आ जाती है और यहाँ वहाँ हमारे दूसरे खर्चे एक दो रुपये हो जाता है तो देखा जाए तो हमारे तेरह रुपये में हमारा पूरा सीढ़ी बन जाता है और जहाँ तक आपको पता है कि जिस तरह से पिक्चर चल रहे हैं अगर पि, अच्छी पिक्चर होगी तो 200-300 रुपए भी मिल जाते हैं और जैसे जैसे वीक जाती है वैसे वैसे भाव गिर जाते हैं बट हालांकि हम लोग कम से कम हमें पाँच गुना प्रॉफिट तो इसमें हो ही जाता है 50 से 60 रुपए में हम सीढ़ी पेच लेते हैं अरे साहब आप भी इंडिया में रहते हैं आपको पता है पुलिस को किस तरह से हैंडल किया जाता है ठीक है साहब आपको लगता होगा कि मैं अनपढ़ हूँ मैं एक बी ग्रेजुएट हूँ और मैंने शुरुआत की अपने करियर की तो मैं एक वेटर का काम करता था जिधर मुझे 1200 सौ रुपये महीने के मिलते थे इस धंधे से मुझे 2000 हज़ार रुपये में दिन के मिलते थे तो मैं अपने पेट के लिए क्या ये चॉइस करूँगा ये चॉइस देखिए वो तो करोड़ों में उनको पैसा मिलता है उनको बड़े बड़े स्पॉन्सर्स मिलते हैं बड़े बड़े इवेंट्स होते हैं और उनके हालांकि उन हमें तो हम तो सिर्फ हज़ारों में कमाते हैं तो हम हमारी चिंता करेंगे कि उनको चिंता करेंगे अरे यार ऐसे सवाल मत पूछो यार इट इज ऑब्वियस दैट द एंटरटेनमेंट इंडस्ट्री कैन नॉट जस्ट डिपेंड ऑन द गवर्नमेंट टू फाइट देयर बैटल व्हाट कैन द इंडस्ट्री इट सेल्फ डू इन इट्स वॉर अगेंस्ट पायरेसी कलेक्टिव फोर्स बी अ फंड दैट एक्चुअली टेक्स दैट टास्क फोर्स टू प्लेस बिकॉज I think this is something that has to be done in a systematic and proper manner, and it's not going to overnight uh, become zero from that point of view. So I think it's something that if you have a task force, and if one uh, percent of the revenues of the film industry, which is say four thousand crores, and therefore forty crores is allocated every year necessarily to this fund, the results will be a lot. To govern this, government should give us a separate agency, like uh, we have uh, CBI or uh, Economic Offence Wing. or extortion cell there is so many different different kind of cells existing now so i think for to protect ipr there should be a separate department in police and maybe a separate department in judiciary system uh, i would say in fact we have been recommending as an industry there should be fast track courts there should be uh, representation in fact which is which is where similar kind of uh, cases in fact brought to the same courts this is a law and you have to enforce so you should have special people to enforce it i think we to bata is thinking ko todne ka ek hi rasta hai ki jo dvd is पब्लिक को फ्राइडे को फ्री में मिलती है सॉरी सौ रुपये में मिलती है उनको आप थर्सडे रात को फ्री में टीवी में बेचे दिखा दो एंड थ्रू स्पॉन्सर्स पब्लिक को पब्लिक से पैसा लो आज देखिए पब्लिक पैसा खर्च करने को तैयार है आज डीवीडी या वी खरीदो आप तो सौ दो सौ तीन सौ रुपये डकते हैं अगर यही आप टिकट रेट अगर इंस्टेड ऑफ डेढ़ सौ अगर आप पचास रुपये कर दो मल्टीप्लेक्स में और सिंगल स्क्रीन में बीस तीस रुपये कर दो तो लाइन लगा के वापस लोग आएंगे प्रोड्यूसर्स कम टूगेदर यू नो फ्राम देर ओन एसोसिएशन देर ओन लॉबी टू टेक दिस इन दैंड world is involved so it's too too uh, huge uh, a body as compared to the uh, producer's body and that's why that fear is there but i don't think we should get into this thing about fear hold hands stand by each other and go ahead but the best solution to curb piracy it we will have to have a technological solution okay the government doesn't want to help us uh, in terms of financial uh, support we can do one thing on every ticket Let's have a surcharge of one rupee on every ticket which is bought, and that one rupee fund, uh, which is collected on a national basis, should go towards protecting uh, your uh, piracy 
uh, anti-piracy thing. However, no government law, no industry initiative will work without the support of the common man who buys pirated products and thinks nothing wrong in doing so. For the sake of film industry, for the survival of the film industry, please stop seeing pirated films. I cannot pontificate to the common man because I myself violate what these people preach to you. As long as I buy an illegal cassette or an illegal VCD or a DVD from my Panwala, so long there will be piracy. So unless I stop buying it, I have no business to tell you to stop buying it. You don't watch, I always say this, you don't watch uh, films on uh, pirated uh, uh, you know, DVDs and uh, pirated uh, discs because it hurts. We bleed, we bleed a hell of a lot. Films aren't doing well, workers are in big, big, big trouble. There's no work happening. Support us, otherwise we won't be able to entertain you like we want to do, like we intend to do. It's very important for educated people to at least go ahead. You can spend money. If you want to see a thing, you can see a thing. But pay for it rightfully. Please keep away from, from watching a pirated uh, films because piracy is a crime. I think that the man in the street should understand that this is theft and that if they do want to hear good music, they should not encourage this theft. If they encourage theft, the people who own this uh, music, they will stop producing it because it will become uneconomic for them. And once they stop producing the music, then you will have to depend on, on um, I don't know on what, because I can't imagine a country without uh, uh, music. I would urge every one of you out there who values India, respects Indian culture and tradition, as well as our music and the arts, to honestly look at within yourself and try and support the future generations. For the sake of your kids, you need to pass on some of the great things that you've enjoyed. And please educate yourself and everybody around you and encourage yourselves from only buying original music and movies and supporting the artist community. The Indian film industry is the only industry which has withstood the onslaught of the Hollywood film industry in this side of the world. And I think it has done it in a very credible way. But this piracy keeps continuing. I don't see it lasting for very long. This piracy actually doesn't affect the Shah Rukh Khans, the Amitabh Bachchans or the Yash Chopra. It actually affects the daily wage worker, which is the, the assistant, the light man, the spot boy, all these people who, who have a hand-to-mouth kind of living from films. And I don't think that we have emotionally regressed so much in this country that we don't care a damn about these people. I mean, a man wants to earn his right, he wants to give him the opportunity. I don't think we are emotionally so backward that we are going to take away his rights. And if this piracy continues, filmo ka the end ki bajaye, I think film industry ka the end lag jayega. Chali, 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 chali,